And this is the Weekend Edition. My name's D7 here at Grok Trade. Good through Sunday, October 16th, 2016. On Friday, the markets go um, mostly bullish. Small caps so down 0.4%, but the banks up 0.64%, half percent here on financials. That's because of a couple key groups. Uh, it looked like JP Morgan, Citigroup, Wells Fargo all came out and beat earnings. So that really helped financials quite a bit, but the market should have went up higher and it just did not do so. Crude oil down 0 04 four percent us dollar rising look at this putting some pressure on the markets um gold down more than half percent yeah, silver down a third of a percent vix down more than three percent and here we are looking at this now notice the music in the background guys i'm gonna try to do this trading video or this uh weekend edition video with music in the background so what I need from you is for you to let me know yay or nay on the music. Uh, I've not done this before, so if it's something that makes the video even that much more pleasurable, be happy to incorporate that more often. The S&P 500. Now, I've tweaked some of the trend lines. I'm a little early in tweaking this lower trend line, but there it is. You'll want to draw it just as I have it. And... Um, I'm a little early. We just have a pivot candle. All you mentor students, we do have a pivot candle here. There it is. There it is. Um, and you know uh, what to look for now. But um, anyway, we have this triangle, and we're on the wrong side of the two blue lines. So let me zoom in here. See the two big blue lines? There's your huge rising wedge. The problem with this rising wedge do you see how we made higher highs here? We made lower highs here in MACD. And I use certain filters to get this sort of number down. It's um, very specific on how I look at this. And that's in our mentorship program. But the um, you'll see here that we did break that support level. So we're, we broke that blue line. Blowing this up so you can see it. Um, this is bad, bad news on this. That's why I put a sell here because we closed below the blue line. That's why I put a sell here. Went sideways, then we dropped yesterday. Today, I said expect on Friday to get a pop to come up here to this line. But look at this line as resistance. And there it is. We went up, got to that line, found resistance, and we sold into that coming all the way down. And you'll see that we found support right here coming across this area now if i zoom in a lot more a lot more do you i don't know if you can see this but you see this pink line coming across that is this swing low right there that pink we closed just below that pink line do you see that so that's some relative weakness there breaking a support level and that happened right at the end of the day on friday so the question is will we see more downside movement going into monday now we have a line coming across it should act as a nice area of support and that's at 212.36 or 21.31 on the s p 500 index and i want to look here at the weekly chart and show you what we're dealing with and this is problem sit now bear with me this is something you have to see and i want your eyes to adjust to this i know i got a lot of lines here okay the only two lines i'm wanting to look at is this blue line coming up higher here support 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 okay and this red one resistance resistance okay so this red one and this blue one see how the close are getting together here that's making that a rising wedge and i have confirmation with the mac d centered oscillator down here it's telling me that is exactly what it is that we're looking at well if i make this into a line chart you'll see this look at support 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 because it's hard to see the support when i go back to the candlesticks we broke it right there you'll see that i put the sell signal 
when it broke that line right there. Okay, so let's go back to the candlesticks. Candlesticks. And there is where we broke it. We didn't break it here. We stayed right on the trip. We stayed right on support. We broke it on this one. And then we get this one. So when we broke it, that was trouble. Remember how I last week I was saying we are in a ton of trouble, guys. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Bam! To the downside. Now we are below the 20 week moving average. That is big, big. I mean, the last time though, we dropped below this one. See this? We closed below the 20 week. That's that blue line. We got down, sold off, but rallied right back. So we have to be watching for this. The difference here is we broke a nice area of confirmed support. We broke it. Now it's acting as resistance. It confirmed that second tap resistance. You can see it tapped, come right back down. This the markets are in dire dire trouble right now. There's another line I, I really need to add into this and let me draw that in right Do this while I'm on There see it broke that area too man really a lot of weakness We do have an area of support coming in right here at 2124 be watching that on the weekly, but markets are broken, guys. Bad news. Bad news for the markets. And I'm going to go here to the uh, monthly chart. Take a look at this. Now, uh, monthly, I called it a sell last month. We're halfway through October right now. We're into earnings season. And there we drop. We are dropping with a lot of downside opportunity. It looks like that's what's going to happen for the month. Now this one is dynamic, that one's static, this one's still moving, so anything can happen on that candlestick. And um, I'm going to look at the NASDAQ, I'm not going to do the Dow because it looks too similar um, to the S&P, but check this out. This is the Q's, the NASDAQ, tweak this line coming up, I'm a little early on this, so I'm not overly sold on this line quite yet. However, we popped up, hit the 20 day moving average. We come right back down. There's our support looking very, very weak. I called it a sell a few days ago. You'll remember that I said sell. And now we've been in a ton of trouble ever since my sell recommendation. And I, I've been looking for it. You'll see a number of sells that I have up here because of what I'm seeing in the larger time frames really looking toppy so it's just a matter of time before this thing finally gives up the ghost and falls out of bed and then we have the weekly chart now I said here we got a sell off I said there's my sell but immediately it comes back look at that boom comes up hits this trend line stays at this trend line but this week this week we drop I'm gonna add a second sell to the NASDAQ NASDAQ is toast due to another line. I don't have drawn in there. I see it in my head, but I want to show you guys there to here. See that? We come up right there. So there's our triangle. It's a wedge technically. So we go up, resistance, resistance, pinch, 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 doji crash. There it is. Bad news. I would assume to see a little more volume on this price action this week. Did not see that. If we go here to the monthly chart, I called it a sell at this resistance, and we are now, ever since then, we are down on the month. However, month's just getting started. This would be a bearish harami, but it's a tweezer top at the same time at a resistance level. So, good chance, guys, that this dude is going to peter out and soon in the both the daily and the weekly set up for that i mean it's just huge problems guys going into next week and i want to look at small caps small caps here's the daily chart we drop called it a sell uh, what is that two weeks ago and then we come up chop 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 sell and sell 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 and then we broke yesterday broke on thursday major area today we came up we challenged it and then sold off this had a big sell off below this area of resistance i'm expecting it to drop this 
support line coming across was pierced. We closed right near the day's low. People were selling right into the close. Uh, bad, bad news on the daily chart on small caps. It's Russell's 2,000. Last week, last week on the Russell's, I called it a sell. Said it's in trouble, rising wedge. Last week was trouble, and there's the crash. There it is. There's the drop to the rising 20-week moving average as support. But it's toast, guys. The market's broken. The weekly is in trouble. And I've been calling for some warnings. This is another warning, warning, warning. You can see it here. It's, it's, it's all right before us. And if I look here at the monthly chart, I called it premature because it's still dynamic candlestick. I called it last week already a sell and it's already starting to grow a large candlestick to the down side. So that is what I'm ex expecting at this resistance point. If it does drop, there's your M. You see that? Big M. Boom, boom, boom. Double top trend reversal pattern to the downside. And I would be remiss if I don't look at banks. Let's go to the daily chart on banks. Banks had a problem. Redrew, I think, did I redraw these trend lines? I'm not 100% sure. I don't think so. I think these were done. But rising wedge on Thursday, we broke down. We tried to go bullish today. And I'm telling you guys, you had Citigroup, Wells Fargo, you had JP Morgan, you had everybody, all those guys beating estimates. That's a pretty good deal. And those are large banks. And for this, to get just a you know a small pop a half a percent pop in the banks and then to have it actually lower than the open on friday not good news especially when you are below resist or support now it's resistance guys man this market can get bearish and quickly and i am set up to take huge advantage of this hey got girl who's making money this week <laughs> you are? My goodness, I can't believe the money you made this week. <laughs> so, um, it sounds like that that was probably planned. It wasn't. <laughs> She's actually working late. We're doing this late on a Friday okay, night. Let me just tell you guys, yeah, I know I'm butting in. I'll probably get talked to about this in a minute. <laughs> But he is making killer money, and I'm like, snap. I need to learn how to trade and learn a lot faster because this is ridiculous. A push of a button, and he makes $1,000, $3,000, $5,000. Okay, we don't have to talk money. <laughs> All right, well, anyway, I got excited, and okay. I'm done. <laughs> hey, Ke or, uh, Grok Girl. Don't her name's, follow me. Her name is Keisha. <laughs> don't fire me. <laughs> but she... Um, she is doing videos um, live on Facebook, live on Twitter, Periscope, and we're, I'm teaching her, and she is sharing what she's learning. So make sure you follow Grot Girl at Twitter at Grot Girl. Grot Girl. <laughs> so anyway, um, listen. Hey, as a disclosure here, guys. It's late Friday night. We're working uh, very, very late for the just because we had a huge amount of response on. I mean, and I'm no joke there. Uh, a crazy amount of response for the three-day training for the mentorship coming up, and um, we got our hands very, very full right now. <laughs> so anyway, um, but a full disclosure here: we don't talk money on uh, what we make, what we don't make. It's uh, we are an education company. And that is what we uh, produce and that's what we do. And we do very, very well. But you can rest assured that we are active traders. We do that on a day-to-day -day basis, both Meerkat and myself, and uh, been actively trading in the markets for 18 years, a long time, nearly two decades. And uh, very, very cool stuff. And um, I so lost my chance. <laughs> <clears throat> um, oh, this is the daily. I'm going to go to the weekly here on the banks. See, I called it a buy because we went back above this. But now, now I have to say a sell. And I knew that when I said that. I said, I'm going to show a bit. I'm going to call it a buy. But sure enough, it's going to break down. 
I am now a sell that quickly on the bank's weekly. It said buy and then a sell. So there I missed it. I missed this one. Um, I usually don't miss them. You can see this. I call it a sell here. We dropped. I call it a sell here. We dropped. I call it a buy there. We had a huge rally. I call it a buy here, but I had to immediately switch it. Happens, right? Um, so there's weekly is in trouble. Expect the next few weeks to be bearish and it could be a gnarly couple of weeks. Then let's go here to the NASDAQ uh, monthly chart or the bank, um, the bank monthly chart. It's the NASDAQ bank index. But here I said buy because we got over this trend line. You see this? Boom. We stayed above it. Now we close below this trend line and I have to put a sell now. There's my sell call on the monthly guys on the monthly markets toast it's just not looking good at all not looking good at all so um matter of fact i'm gonna do something why i'm on the fly with you guys i'm gonna tweak this line to this area yeah that makes sense i'm down with that that makes great sense i'm down with those lines right there Broke it, resistance, resistance, and now we're, we're dropping. Okay, I'm good with that. Monthly, looks like it's in a lot of trouble. I'm putting a sell sign on that right now. And crude oil, this is the monthly. I called it on the monthly, a buy on the monthly. The buy on the monthly and crude oil. If you go to the weekly, now I'm going reverse. I called it a buy last week. This week, um, I had a sell signal on it, and there it is. There's the sell signal for the bank. So wait, that's hold on, hold on, hold on. Crude oil, crude oil. Double click that. Sorry, crude oil. Let's just start on the daily. If I don't do that, I get all messed up. So crude oil, I got two sells. Sell, then I put another sell. Almost an island top. We're just struggling right here above the rising EMA. So I'm really struggling here on crude oil daily. The weekly crude oil, I, two, two weeks ago, I had a two weeks, three weeks ago, I had a buy. Boom, we've gone up, but this could be set up to sell soon. I'm not sure. We're at a resistance point. So be watching that. If you are long crude oil, just be, be, have a, a stop loss plan in place. And then if you go to the monthly, we already said this monthly, we call that a buy heading um, upward. Let's look at gold, gold, gold. And gold is a low base. Down, 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 I called it a sell there on the break. Boom, there's our low base. I'm looking for that to break down yet again. Once it breaks down and I get a buy signal, I'm looking big time into gold, buying up gold at lows, but it's, the timing is not now. If you look here at the weekly chart, I called it uh, one, two, three weeks ago, a sell, bam, and then it's just it's crashed and burned ever since, and crashed and burned ever since, and there it is. It's just heading down, and if I go here to the monthly chart, I called it a sell last month, and this month there it goes, boom. It's just, oh, it's in trouble, trouble, trouble. Wait for that to, I don't know where that would go to. Um, maybe 115 area, uh, maybe lower, I'll see. But there, we could have a buy area coming in soon. So it's something to watch for. This is silver monthly chart. Monthly chart, I called it a sell last month. And this month, we're starting to drop. And then if I go to the weekly chart, I'm doing reverse. After I said I wouldn't, you know, last week, called it a sell. Bam, and now we're still bearish. If you look at the daily chart on silver, down, down, down. It looks like it's going into a, what's called a bear flag. So you could get a little pop here and then it will break down again. I, I think that's what's going to happen here with silver. If you look at VIX, VIX, I did tweak a couple lines. You want to look at this. You see the triangle, triangle, you see that? right here that goes to October or, um, I'm sorry June 23rd 2016 comes down to this area October uh, 13th and that is what we're looking at popped up so it looks like we could start to drop here on VIX volatility if we do drop on the volatility on the VIX the markets will go bullish However, if we stay up here at this resistance line and then break through, the markets will be very bearish. Now, I am doing the V newsletter. We, ha we have a Stock Picks V newsletter. Mark is traveling, Mark the Meerkat. And I'm going to be doing that for him. 
If you go to Rock Trade and Stock Picks V newsletter, um, one of the things that we do that's so interesting is I think that we have the best newsletter when it comes to stocks out there. Let me tell you why I say that. We have two lists. We have a bull list and a bear list, okay? So we have a bull list and a bear list. The bull list is comprised of very, very fundamentally strong companies, and our bear list are fundamentally weak companies. So what are fundament, what do I mean by fundamentally? You know, fun, the fundies, I call them the fundies. The fundies are the numbers of the business. How strong is the company? How strong is this business? And if it's a strong, strong business with great numbers, it goes on our bull list. If it's a very, very weak company with weak numbers, it goes on our bear list. And then we look at those stocks technically, and, and then we trade them technically. We look for technical setups to the bull side or the bear side, depending on what list we're trading. And we only trade bullish on the bull list if the markets are bullish. If the markets are bearish like they are now, we only go to the bear list and we look for bearish technical setups and we trade it to the short side. And that's what makes our list, I think, better than everybody else's out there. The uh, If you know anything about fundamental analysis, what I want you to do is get the list and look at the numbers yourself and tell me if we haven't done our homework. You will see that uh, our stocks are second to none. Uh, we put a lot of time into We have a small army of people that work on this each and every week. Now, if you would be shocked to know all that goes behind our weekly stock picks. Anyway, we'll give you two weeks for free if you want to give it a shot. And after two weeks, you'll be paying twenty nine ninety seven. I think is what it is. $29.97 and uh, once a month. So you get four stock picks each um, or four weekly stock picks for a month of 29 something. So about a buck a day. So there you have it. If you like the music in the background, give me a like. Sharing is caring. <laughs> Catch you later.